In this video, I'm going to talk about how to interpret EDX or EDS spectrum in your research article. For example, how to interpret, how to write about this. This is the spectrum of EDX or EDS. It basically shows uh, elemental composition. For example, if you synthesize something and you want to know what kind of elements are there, you, you can see titania peak, SN peak, titania peak, oxygen peak. Basically, you uh, choose the surface of a powder of a nanostructure and you take the spectrum. EDS is basically energy dispersio X ray spectroscopy. Sometimes it is called EDX and sometimes it is called EDS. EDS or EDX is a chemical technique because you want to know the chemical nature, the elemental composition of your material. It is implied in the conjunction with ACM. This, this tool is available in the SEM machine. You just need to change the mood from SEM to EDS or EDX. And what we need to get uh, from EDX or EDS? Watch my video. It is very, very important videos. My aim is not to only get money, to earn money, to educate people, to help the society. Look, why we, we, why we use EDS or EDX? To identify the elements. For example, if you are synthesizing a paper material, and you do not want to exist some other material and you are doing synthesis making something and perhaps there are some foreign atoms and you want to clarify just do edx and you will see that whether uh, there are uh, other material exist or not this is one of the function for example another case you are making composite composite mean that when you are mixing two or more than two uh, elements to make another element that is called composite for example and when you are doing composite you are mixing two things to get one uh, structure and now you for example you want to make a composite of tin oxide in titania or zinc oxide titania and you want to know that what is the weightage or atomic percentage of this material and this material you just do edx and you will see like in this graph you see here tin is also present titanium is also present oxygen is also present so this means a composite is formed third number is it is used to determine the homogeneity and its elemental distribution in a synthesized structure if you are making composite very important sentence to know the homogeneity in elemental distribution what does this mean for example you put the powder in SEM machine and you take EDX and you target this area spectrum here and in this particular area you want to know whether the SN or titania are distributed equally or not because uh, you will see in later that uh, what is the, uh, the weightage in uh, atomic masses you see this is the four. some lighter elements such as lithium or hydrogen cannot be detected so please be aware of that for example if you are talking of, if you are doing some analysis or some synthesis and you do not want these materials to be present so uh, ADX will not show some of the material uh, 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 because of its light nature uh, because it is very very light and ADX show atomic masses and weight masses uh, the, the results of EDX are in weight percentage and atomic percentage let me show you the spectrum here for example this is the um, composite structure and you uh, uh, target it uh, in area here you take the image of this and from here you develop a spectrum that in this particular area is explained that it's talk about the distribution of in elements this is the spectrum one here you can see here fly for example so so many other elements are here titania snr also there platinum is <laughs> from the coating when you are doing sem you just uh, use platinum to coat your material so these peaks are also there and oxygen and titanium you see and the this is the spectrum one so in edx they will give you three uh, profile 
one this profile one is this one and one is the uh, which show you the elemental composition here this is my spectrum one and you can see the table here this is the element names and this is the weight percentage and this is the atomic weight percentage atomic percentage you see so we are interested in titania so titania is 9 atomic mass here available and sn is 8 so you see both are almost I uh, have the similar uh, atomic masses present in a composite structure. So this is how you can see, and also uh, oxygen is in a large amount. You see here, you can see with both. So uh, all these make uh, 100 weight percent. Now let's see how we can write this in uh, our thesis or in our um, uh, research paper. This is the data you see here. I plot like this here. How to link this data? In order to confirm the formation of this in this nanofiber composite, look at the sentence. In order to confirm whether the composite is formed or not, EDX analysis was performed. During the EDX measurements, different areas were focused. You see, different areas were focused. Very nice. And corresponding peaks are shown in figure this. Corresponding peaks are shown. You see here. Both SNO2 and titania can be seen in the synthesized composite nanostructure in DDA spectrum and spectrum 1. The quantity of SN titania oxygen are this and this and this. This is you, you see here respectively. While in spectrum 2, this and blah blah blah. <coughs> the detail of the 3DX spectrum of the electrospun, electrospun, this nanocomposite composite values, mayor and atomic in weight are listed in table 6.1. Here we also tabulated in the table here. This is EDX weight ratio you see here. Spectrum 1, the weight ratio of 10 SN, titanium and oxygen are given. So this is how uh, you we uh, interpret ADX analysis in your um, uh, thesis or in your uh, research article. So if there is any problem uh, about ADX or uh, SEM analysis, please uh, do not uh, hesitate to put your comments. And thanks for watching.